Senator Bill Haggerty, Republican from Tennessee, with us now. Mr. Senator, formal debate begins on the bill in a half hour. Will you vote for it? Well, what they're going to propose in half an hour's time, Stuart, is not the bill. We haven't seen the text. They're going to put forward something called a shell bill, which has no text in it, has been scored. There's no detail of how it would be paid for. I don't think the American people sent us here to Congress to vote for things that we don't even understand. It feels eerily reminiscent of about a decade ago when Nancy Pelosi told the American public, you've got to pass the bill to see what's in it. We don't need another Obamacare 2.0 right now. So we need to find out what's in this bill to begin to vote on it. So what's the vote? Is it a vote at 11.30 this morning or just the start of debate? What is it? This will start off the procedural process. Uh -huh. But again, they've yet to provide the text. They've yet to score it and provide us with you know, what the economics look like. So I'm going to have a very hard time proceeding at this point. You can't vote for something you don't even know what's in it. Precisely. Can you? Precisely. Okay. Uh, you're introducing a bill. Uh, that would require the White House to disclose how involved it is with the Facebook about regulating COVID misinformation. I, I believe you're saying that big tech is becoming an extension of government. Is that what your bill says and what do, you, what do your bill do about it? Indeed, what, what it is doing is picking up on the fact that the White House has actually acknowledged that they are leveraging big tech. They're, they're going to determine what they believe is inaccurate or unhelpful information. And the White House is using big tech to do what the White House itself cannot do. It's a blatant violation of the First Amendment. The White House seems to have forgotten that the government works for the people. It's not the other way around. Yet what the White House is trying to do is use big tech companies like a Facebook to do an end run around our First Amendment, to censor and squelch our opinion, our thought. Uh, this is wholly unacceptable. And what we're going to do is force them to disclose it when it happens. Force them to, you're forcing the White House to disclose their exactly. relationship with Facebook. It, it, exactly. The American public needs to know when the White House reaches out and tries to influence public opinion in this way by using big tech to censor us. Again, the White House has lost touch with reality. The government works for the people. We do not work for the government. Five years from now, do you think that big tech companies like Facebook, Amazon, will they still be intact as they are today, still doing the same things that they're doing today? Or in the next five years, can we really expect real change? Well, Stuart, I certainly hope that there will be real change. I've introduced legislation that will essentially treat the big tech companies like common carriers. It will force them to provide non-discriminatory access to all players. And what it will also do is force them to take away this Section 230 protection yeah. and make very clear the criteria that they're using to, quote, moderate content. Today, what they do under Section 230 is they have an excuse, an opening, you'd call it a loophole, for anything that they find otherwise offensable. That's something that's very ill-defined. They don't make their criteria clear, and they use it as an excuse to, to essentially censor conservative voices. That's got to come to an end. My legislation would do just that. Senator, thank you very much for being with us today on a very important subject. We appreciate it, and we hope to see you again, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Stuart. Yes, sir.